Hey, what's up, Internet? So I got an AC adapter for my monitor, and it gets really hot. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. So check it out. I sure could use some help. Hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. So I got this idea, and I want to build it. And it's great because I bought this thing. It's called a 3D printer, and it's by Dremel, and it's called the Idea Builder. What a great match. <laughs> anyway, I'm making a review video for that eventually, but in the meantime, I'm going to test it, and this is one of uh, one of the many tests I'm going to put it through. So I end up making some like hanger hooks for my AC adapter to mount underneath my desk. And also I make some uh, like fan mounts, and I bought some fans. So I'm going to show you all that. I'm going to check it out. I'll make this quick. Hopefully you get something out of it. Yeah, so let's get started with the design. Uh, how I designed my hanger hooks was I measured the AC adapter and then I went into Adobe Illustrator and I drew up some uh, 2D images of what I want the hooks to look like. And I had a problem when I export the file and I found a solution online and I'll link uh, to another person's video in my description. Uh, you have to do some math before you actually save the file. Then after I was done with that, uh, I had several 2D pieces that I then imported into 123D Design. It's free software. You can go ahead and try it out. I highly recommend that. Uh, and then once I got that file in there, I extruded the pieces, gave them that third dimension. I flipped them around, and then I combined them. And there you go. There they were. So I, I output that, and then I went to the Dremel software, and I printed a, a high and a low quality print. And you can see those here. Both of them worked out really well. The high quality print, as you can see, is it's more detailed. Yeah. So I ended up mounting them underneath my desk, as you can see here, and it works out well. They're a little flimsy, I guess, but for what they need to hold and the weight they need to hold, they are way more than ample in strength. And before moving on, we're going to bring you a word from our non-sponsor. This video is not brought to you by Netflix, where you spend more time searching for a movie than you actually do watching one. Then I ended up buying those fans, as you saw earlier, from Amazon. They were roughly like 20 bucks. There's a couple of them here. They're from a company called AC Infinity, and you can see what it comes with here. It's even got a switch, like a off, low, medium, high. I leave it on medium because the switch gets hot if, if you leave it on low or high. So also bought a caliper so I can do some better design work. Look at that. That was like uh, 17 bucks on Amazon. And yeah, and then I was able to record my precision via Post-it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I ended up designing these uh, mounts as well for the fans. And then, yep, there you go. Look at that. It's going to end up working out well, right? Well, look at that. You can see how well it fits. The little rubber piece that was on the fan into the hook. That awesome this 3d printers are cool man 3d printers are cool so i mounted them under the desk and then i popped the fans on and now my ac adapter stays cool so i hope it lasts longer than normal because it's like 50 bucks to buy the replacement and i don't want to have to do that again so yeah we can take a closer look at those fan mounts with the telemacro feature of my sony hdr cx 350 wow so this is really close up, and you can see the detail. And I thought it was kind of interesting, the high-res print for the fans, because I got a, a low and high-res, it actually kind of missed on that first couple layers around the screw hole, yeah, as you can see there. But it, it ended up being fine. It's just, I don't know. It just didn't, it didn't do that. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm going to be making more of these videos, so if you like this video, there's a button for that, of course. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. And if you're just bored, go ahead and cruise my channel. i got some other videos. Check them out. You know, let me know what you think. And anyway, I hope that helped. See you later, Internet.